This is the H&H &H -H bandage, and this is called a comprehensive combat dressing. Um, obviously, it has an NSN number. It's got an 8x10 absorbent patch with the pad for the gauze, and it is, does come rolled. Now, what's interesting about all the medical gear is, I'll tell you, like a lot of people I see buy these things. They may have trained, obviously, with compression dressings at some point, some pressure dressings, but what they haven't done is actually opened up the one that they have in their kit. And this H bandage has kind of a unique fitting to help you get the pad tight down against the actual wound site. So I think it's really important that if you're gonna have this, you open it up. Now I get it, a lot of people don't wanna necessarily open up the packaging and okay, now it's not sterile, plus you use it, reuse it, all these things. You wanna keep it in the package like it's supposed to be and you don't wanna have to buy two, it's an expense. So today I thought, okay, let me open this up and uh, I'll go through the expense and I'll show you exactly what it's gonna look like. Of course, it's always gonna be best for you to go ahead and get direct hands-on with the actual material you're gonna use and do the training. But just in case you don't have time to do that or you should encounter one of these, and you don't actually own one, here's the way it looks. It's an H bandage because it has this plastic H there. You can see again the 8x10 pad. Now I could get into this and pull gauze out and use it to stuff or pack a wound obviously, but let's assume that I have some kind of a wound right here that I want to take care of. I'm going to take this absorbent pad and put it directly over the wound. If the wound were smaller, I might even kind of compress this down a little bit. That's fine. I have the Velcro exposed here. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure I get that direct pressure with the H right over the wound and then taking this Velcro end and pulling tight underneath the leg in this case. Obviously, this is a self-application. Come down and get at least some bite on the actual roll here on that gall on that actual Velcro. So you can see if I let go of this now, it's gonna stay there. So if I'm doing something else with someone, at least I've got the absorbent pad on the wound itself and I've got it locked down. If I'm putting on an arm, same kind of thing. If I'm going around the body, same kind of thing. I've got the first security. Now this isn't really a lot of pressure and this is the cool thing about the H band is now I can pull this really tight come up and over and go around this first leg of the H. And when I go around that, what I'm gonna end up with is a situation where now I'm pulling back and putting even more pressure on the one side. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this back around. And now I'm gonna hit the other side of the H and that's really what's going to be giving me like a consistent direct pressure. So this isn't a tourniquet, not meant to be a tourniquet, but now this is giving me pressure from one side. I've gone back around, I've got pressure from the other side. And now I'm gonna to continue to wrap all the way around, continuing to put pressure on there from the H, go all the way around and then I'm gonna find that I've got a little barrette, I've got another little hook. I could use something else. I could use this Velcro to secure this area if I can go all the way around, but on a leg, I'm not gonna be able to do that. If I were on an arm, I probably could go all the way around and hit this. So that's why you've got this clip also, this little barrette clip. So I can come down here and just kind of hook that without even looking. It's big enough, easy enough to use and get that hooked. And now I've got that pressure coming down off the H of the H bandage, the absorbent pad underneath, and I've got a lot of security there. And again, you can see this is exposed. If I were on an arm or someplace else, I'd come around, I could hit that Velcro. I still might want to use those plastic clips on the barrette to secure that. The H bandage from H&H. &H.